me having our sharing time. Remember last time, Josh was sharing with me about youth group. So it's auntie time to share about myself. Yeah, this is how we're bonding. So I am sharing with him about how we love gardening. He told me his grand grand loves the garden. Tell me some things that grand grand has any garden. A plant, auntie cook a plant on Sunday bake cake. How about so nice? You like to eat a plant? Yes, please. That's so sweet. Grand, grand, you're the bomb. You're on the bomb. You're really raising Joshua. Joshua, we're going to do some sweet work with this good food, boy. What else she has in that garden? Like. You don't know the name of it, what it looks like. Let me test my skills. It's green and it looks like a pepper. It's green and it looks like a pepper. Is it a sweet pepper? Is it a cucumber? It grows on a vine or it grows and comes up? It grows on a vine and comes up. And comes up. It's green and it looks like a pepper. And you know that one of that uh, cucumber. It's not a bean. Is it a bean? No. It's like slimy inside. Okra. Okra. That's what he means. It has um a flower. When it blossoms, it has a flower. Yes. That's an okra. You're excited. It's so sweet, yeah. I love okra. Joshua had okras for lunch today. Auntie had okra rice. And Auntie had some lentil curry. Auntie's eat some good food here. And Auntie had spinach and green banana for breakfast. Auntie, you feel Auntie's cool out. So my garden. I love, love, love my garden. I love to plant. And I talk to my plants too, you know, Joshua, yeah. When I first plant them, if it's a seed, or I might buy like small plants at the shop, and I talk to them, I sing to them, and I say, welcome, I'm so glad you're here. Oh, yes. And I, um, I guess sometimes I get like manure, and I fertilize the ground, or what I do a lot, I do a lot of composting. You ever heard that word, Joshua? You know what's compost? Compost is like... When you get a lot of different organic or like vegetable matter. So like when mommy's cooking, mommy might be cooking like, you like cream potato? You like to eat potatoes? Right mashed potato. You know mommy will peel the potatoes instead of throwing the peels into the garbage. You could get all your different peels, potato, carrot, pumpkin, whatever, right? And you put them, you can mix them with some soil and put that around the bottom by the same plants. And then it would, um, what's the word to say? What's the right word? They're trying to use a simple word for him, you know. Anyhow, it will like decay and it, it would um it will end up being like soil in the end as it gets older. Yeah. I normally I put mine with I will put the different peels and then I put like some dry grass and I put some soil and then or break it down. It will break it down. It will dry up, you know, all the different peels it will dry up and get small and then they would eventually just come like soil and that helps the plants to grow a lot. Because they have a lot of things in the peels that have like nutrients that the plants would need. You see? You know that our bodies need different nutrients in order for us to grow and be strong. Yeah, like how we need vitamin A, we need iron. Um you talk about eggplant. So like spinach is a good thing to use to get iron. Different things like that. Yeah, so Auntie loves her gardening. And you know, one of the things I used to love to do, I like to come out early in the mornings and then the bees and the butterflies, everything would be buzzing around. Especially when I have watermelon planted. They seem to like the blossoms of the watermelon a lot. You like to eat watermelon? Yes, please. Yeah. 
and I will walk, sun as I walk barefoot too. Yeah, I like to feel the earth underneath my feet. And Auntie walks, and I like, you will just have the bees there buzzing around, buzzing around the watermelon, yep. And um, sometimes then you get the butterfly. The butterfly seem to like when you plant beans. The different insects like different crops. And even sometimes, you know something, you might look at something and you think it's a weed. And it's actually something that the plant needs to. Yes, yeah, and if you think things are weeds, you can ask grand grand. You think something is a weed, but it's like something you could use to help you feel better. But you might hear uh, maybe grand grand talk about something called cerise bush. That's something you use if you have a cold, yeah. And you can boil tea with them and it helps you to feel better. So that's your homework. Listen up for your homework, Joshua. When you talk to grand grand, Tell her to give you like one or two old time remedies, like things you use, like to make bush tea. If you're not feeling good, some things you could use. Some things you could use like to drink as tea and some things you could use to actually put on your skin. If you got a bad cut, different things like that, and you could use them, right? She's overseas. She's, but you talk to her on the phone or you don't hear her too often? All right, but I can tell daddy to tell you, you ain't getting away from this one, but tell daddy to tell you two things, two old time remedies or two herbal, two herbal remedies, two natural remedies that you could use things from in your garden to help. You know about garlic too? You know garlic? Yes, yes. Garlic has a very strong taste. Garlic is something that's good for colds too. And for here, Auntie, he's an herbalist, you know, love it, sport. Garlic is very good for your heart. Yeah. So I can tell um, Daddy to work with you. So you enjoy this little talk with Auntie about gardening? Yeah. Yeah, I like how we're learning more about each other. Really loving this party lesson, yeah. And we had a good session, though, mine. It was lit. We had a good session. So bye bye to one of we got we all private talk now. Yeah, this was a great lesson.